Hello, my name is Brian Sir with Nutanix. And in this video, we will be looking at easy ways to migrate virtual machines from VMware clusters to AHV clusters using Nutanix Move. Nutanix Move is a small virtual appliance that allows for easy migrations between different platforms to AHV clusters. We've already deployed the Move appliance in one of our clusters. We've already connected it to a VMware vCenter and then we've also connected it to several target environments. To get the process started, you need to first create a migration plan. A migration plan can contain a single VM or large groups of virtual machines. The migration plan will control the replication and ultimately the cutover when we're ready to do the failover. Let's get started. We will name our migration plan. and proceed. Since we only have one vCenter, it's selected by default. Then we'll select our target cluster, select the storage container to replicate it to, and proceed. Then we can select one or multiple virtual machines. We've already got one stage, so we will choose that. Now that we've added our single virtual machine, we'll proceed to the next step. Uh, Move can automatically, besides the data within the machines, automatically preserve other settings such as network settings. To do this, we need to provide it with credentials for Windows or Linux VMs. This can be done on a one per one basis or in mass for the whole Move group. You also have the option to retain MAC addresses. We're going to just proceed with the defaults here. Next, we'll choose the, the destination network. And if we wanted to not start the data seeding right away, we'd have the option to schedule it, but we will proceed right away. Just a confirmation of all our settings, we will save to get the process started. We now have a migration plan ready, and you can see it's validating the plan, and then it'll begin to start to seed data from snapshots on the source target to the target cluster. Once ready, it will show that it's ready and we can do the cutover from that point. If you let this process run for a period of time, the migration plan will automatically keep up with changes by doing incremental snapshots. Once the migrating data has completed, the migration plan will be ready for cutover. You have the option to cut over a single VM, multiple VMs, or in the entire plan, which includes all the VMs within it. When you do the failover, it will shut down the source VMs and retain them in case you need to fail back to them, and then automatically power up the migrated VMs on the AHV cluster. Thanks for tuning in and learning how to easily migrate VMs to AHV clusters.